like to tell a few words about how to prevent diabetes. Probably even before you go and do a blood test, if you have a family history of diabetes, probably I think there are chances that you may also develop diabetes. There are 50% chances that you may develop diabetes if both if one of your parents are diabetic and maybe 90% chance of being diabetic if both the parents are diabetic. So in order to, after knowing the family history of diabetes, in order to prevent diabetes, the probable steps that you can take from the childhood or the parents can take steps from the childhood for children are that they need to follow healthy lifestyle, two, overeating and gaining weight, and three, physical activity. These three things on a regular basis can prevent or postpone diabetes in a individual who wants to prevent diabetes after knowing family history of diabetes. Second thing is a person who has done his blood test, who has done a GTT and a diagnosis has been made as impaired fasting glucose or a pre-diabetic condition like impaired glucose tolerance. Probably such individuals have to be more strict and have to more seriously follow to avoid the diabetic condition which is called the pre-diabetes. So I think there is nothing much difference to avoid in food. Only thing the people have to avoid in eating is uh, high carbohydrate uh, food, then direct sugars like sugar, jaggery, honey. Probably these things if they can avoid from childhood or if they can once they come to know their pre-diabetic, if they start avoiding that initial stages itself, you can try to prevent diabetes in them. So that. Once along with that, if they also continue to do their physical exercises, probably physical exercise also helps to burn calories and burn sugar, thereby reducing blood sugar levels. I think these two are important factors, not only in the pre-diabetic state, even in a healthy state and even in a diabetic state, to control diabetes and also to prevent diabetes and also to prevent increase in blood sugars in already diagnosed diabetes. Diabetes affects both men and women equally and probably it is a little hard on women. Women can also be affected with heart problems, stroke or equally risk as how men develop complications. Probably we can discuss about two aspects. Women in diabetes is type 2 diabetes in women and gestational diabetes in women. These are the two important things we come across in daily life. Women for the first time when she is diagnosed diabetic during her pregnancy, we call, we call it as gestational diabetes or we term that as gestational diabetes in women. And here the most important is the woman has to plan their pregnancy accordingly and try to control blood sugar levels throughout the pregnancy so that there could be reduction in the fetus abnormalities or complications in pregnancy for the woman. Whereas women with type 2 diabetes who go on for pregnancy need to take little bit precaution in controlling their diabetes and then to conceive. First thing is type 2 women with, uh, who gets pregnant, first thing is they have to plan pregnancy because high sugar levels can cause abnormalities in the fetus. So for this, maybe 6 months to 1 year before itself, the woman has to control her diabetes and keep her HbA1c, that is average blood sugars to less than 6.5 or even less than 7 so that the conception doesn't have any problem and then the complications of pregnancy can be avoided. I would like to introduce diabetes to all of you. Diabetes is nothing but increased blood sugars in the body. That means if blood sugars are more than normal, then we call that as diabetes. And diabetes are two to three types of diabetes are there. One is type 1 diabetes, second is type 2 diabetes, and third is the gestational diabetes. Type 1, type 2 diabetes 
or hereditary and they can be transmitted from generation to generation. So type 1 is also hereditary and sometimes it uh, comes upon by autoimmune uh, problem. That means your own autoantibodies in your body goes and attacks the healthy cells of the pancreas, islet cells and then develop diabetes at a very young age. Probably the age may be from a newborn kid till 16 to 20 years of age group where we can see most often type 1 diabetes. And type 2 diabetes is something which is genetically transmitted and here there is also familiar transmission. But then sometimes we can change with times probably the genetic transmission by changing our lifestyle for generations together. Maybe by changing our lifestyle, having healthy food habits and probably doing regular exercise, thereby trying to cause genetic mutation, thereby trying to reduce the risk of familial transmission. <coughs> and well, the third type is gestational diabetes which is seen during pregnancy in women.